Getting close to the last time, I want to introduce our last speaker on this uh, particular segment, uh, this morning session. Pak Danang, maybe you can start your video. Ah, hello, Pak. <laughs> Hi, Bambo. <laughs> you have the toughest job on the audience because you are in I between <laughs> your session between, and last yeah. time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I specifically choose you for this session because you have a lot of good information that I think a lot of our audience want to listen to and uh, learning more about how's the pandemic and how that impact the business in Indonesia specifically. So that that's it's a purpose that I, I put you here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough job. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna take more of your time. I'll let you take the stage, Pat. Then I'll go ahead. Okay, so. Can I share my screen? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right, we can see yeah. this. Okay, cool. So, uh, good day, everybody. So, actually, yes, uh, I'm standing between uh, you and lunch. <laughs> so, I understand how hard it is. But uh, let me introduce myself first. Okay, my name is Danang Cahyono. So I'm a COO of Circlo, and uh, it's a very honor uh, for me uh, to stand here and also present this one uh, to you in this Mid Magento event. So what I will bring here is actually like a um, uh, uh, critical digital transformation to drive customer experience today. Why it is a very relevant with our uh, current situation because of this kind of the pandemic COVID-19 and we just got the announcement that actually the large scale uh, social restrictions has been extended. So uh, everybody have to be very agile uh, to cope with this kind of the latest condition to make sure that they can not only survive, but still perform uh, in the business as usual. Okay, so let us start with uh, introduce uh, ourselves uh, as a Circlo. So Circlo is uh, founded in 2013 uh, as an e-commerce solution company that helping brand to sell online. So our vision is actually like uh, becoming the uh, leading e-commerce solutions that provide technology uh, and services for brand to sell online. When we are saying about the uh, brand to sell online, this is actually like uh, many uh, of the sector of the brand. I will uh, touch a little bit about that one uh, later on. But uh, currently we have more than 1,000 uh, SME that already joined with us uh, in Circlo and a 60 uh, multinational uh, principal that also joined with us in Circlo uh, and helping them uh, selling their brand online. So you can see here the 2013 journey up until to 2020. So in the 2020, we are proudly uh, merged uh, with iCube. So uh, I guess that you are very familiar with the iCube. Uh, this is a very uh, uh, like uh, have a tons of experience in Magento. So the retail technology for iQP is, uh, is uh, their uh, NDA. Uh, so uh, uh, the, the DNA of the retail technology for iQP is actually uh, one of the reasons why uh, we are merged uh, with iClub. And then uh, right now we are can offer uh, multi solutions and also uh, the whole of the pain point of the brand in Indonesia to selling online. Uh, we can cope with that and offer the uh, correct solutions. Okay, this one is a uh, top management of uh, Circlo uh, since uh, uh, iCube is also merged with us. You can see Pak Mulyadi there as uh, our uh, CTO. Um, you, Brian Marshall is our uh, CEO and founder. You can see Andreas Tanrin, Leon, Rinaldi and me as myself. So this is actually like the combination of the tech expert, uh, retail technology, retail and distribution offline and uh, supply chain management. So we would like to make sure that uh, offline uh, experience that we have can be uh, helped by the tech expert and also providing the same uh, uh, solutions uh, to your brand and also to make sure that consumer have the same experience and satisfaction when, we are, uh, when they are uh, uh, do the purchase in offline and online. Okay. So uh, we have uh, 500, around 500 uh, team right now uh, in Circlo. Uh, we have uh, Jakarta, uh, to be precise, is in the BSD area, and also Yogyakarta office. Uh, we have around uh, 5,000 square meters warehouse in the Taman Techno, 
while we also have uh, another 3,500 square meters uh, warehouses uh, state uh, with which location is also uh, in uh, Tangerang area. Okay, this is actually what uh, Circle is all about, that uh, we are providing the three key pillars for Indonesia e-commerce, starting from the brand.com, uh, social commerce, and marketplace. So as uh, probably uh, most of you aware that uh, we have uh, around uh, two unicorn right now uh, in the marketplace uh, area, that uh, Tokopedia and also Bukalapak, uh, that uh, offer many of the products uh, from the C2C uh, up until the pre-simple itself. Uh, we have the social commerce here, so we are actually uh, one of the few uh, 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 like uh, official partner uh, of this social commerce uh, in Indonesia and we also provide the brand.com starting from the uh, SME uh, principal, SME brand up until the multinational uh, brand. Okay, as already mentioned uh, before that uh, our purpose is uh, actually helping brand to selling online. This is kind of the categorization that we have in those kind of brands. So you can see the entrepreneur brand. This is uh, actually like a small brand that uh, would like to, to extend uh, their presence uh, as well in the online. And then the emerging brand, you, we have some of the local uh, brand as well uh, that uh, becoming a growth, having a very fantastic growth uh, nowadays. And also we manage uh, the large enterprises uh, such as uh, Rekit Ben Kisser, Unilever and Levi's, not to mention the other um, 50 uh, brands that are uh, working with us now. Okay, so uh, that's it about the uh, Circlo and now let's talk about the e-commerce uh, opportunity uh, in Indonesia. So if you can see my uh, slide here, uh, this is actually uh, to show you the, the Indonesia market, which uh, the most exciting market in the Southeast Asia. You can see in the bar on the left side is actually the GDP uh, comparison with the other uh, ASEAN countries. You can see that Indonesia is a far, far uh, bigger uh, compared to the others uh, with the growth rate uh, around six to six, uh, 46 uh, percent. And uh, the productive age, uh, actually, uh, like a 68%. So it's actually an asset uh, for Indonesia uh, to leapfrog uh, and also to close the gap with the uh, emerged country. So uh, on the other side, on the right side, you can see the Indonesia digital economy size. So this one is actually uh, 2014 up until 2018. You can see that uh, from 0.6, uh, uh, digital economy percentage to total GDP, uh, we will have around 2. Point, sorry, we, we, we have already 2.5 percent uh, of digital economy to our total GDP, which is that is reflected uh, to 26 uh, billion US dollars. So you can imagine that uh, this is uh, still becoming a very uh, aggressively growth, especially because of this kind of the pandemic uh, situation that makes everybody uh, will go online. Okay, so uh, this is a, a kind of the exercise that uh, coming from the McKinsey and this one is actually uh, prior to the COVID-19 uh, situation that uh, you can see uh, offline and the online retail sales here. Uh, the projection is actually uh, from 2018, you can see the $15 billion uh, on the online becoming $65 billion in 2022. So the 20, around 25% of the total uh, retail is actually uh, becoming online. Uh, again, this one is actually projected uh, before the COVID-19. So this should be more aggressive, uh, more than 25, probably around 35 to 50%, for example, uh, here in Indonesia especially. So the other interesting part is uh, actually, uh, if people shifting from offline to online, they will save 10 cents. Uh, of their uh, spending, but on the other hand, uh, uh, at 30 cents of new additional consumption. So this one uh, will not happen uh, in the offline retail. So uh, this is not only uh, uh, to show you the opportunity in the online market uh, in Indonesia, but also uh, there is a possibility not only shifting the consumer from the offline into online, but also uh, the opportunity, opportunity to enlarge their basket size. 
Okay. So, uh, after the COVID-19, we can see that actually a projected growth of Indonesia e-commerce market size is uh, uh, double uh, from 54% to 91%. So, you can see from 2019, before COVID-19, uh, actually the forecasted for 2020 from 11 to 17 billion US dollars. But uh, after COVID-19 hit, actually from 11 is uh, go up until 21 billion US dollars. So it's a very uh, amazing. Uh, yes, we are all agree that this pandemic uh, uh, should be fighting with uh, together, but uh, this kind of the situation is also uh, create another opportunity uh, in the online market. You can see as well that actually uh, new e-commerce users uh, on board is actually around 12 million. So 12 million new e-commerce users. And um, if everybody actually kind of a skeptic uh, saying that uh, after this kind of the situation, all of those uh, new e-commerce users will go back, uh, uh, do a purchase offline. Actually, 40% of them is uh, keep staying uh, purchasing online. So this is a still a very uh, big uh, impact and also very big opportunity uh, to take on. One of the other thing that actually support this kind of the uh, behaviors is actually the digital wallet. So uh, by, by, by having the digital wallet is actually uh, make a, a purchase experience is uh, easy, uh, easier for the consumers. And you can see uh, there is a shifting in the product mix uh, before COVID-19 uh, into the during uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So uh, usually like uh, some kind of the the, the, the food and drinks uh, that usually uh, buying offline is also increased in the online uh, after the pandemic, especially the health uh, sectors that uh, grow from 20 to 28 uh, percent. So a consumer is prioritizing primary need right now, uh, such as health product, uh, food and drinks uh, into online, something that in Indonesia probably will never imagine uh, of it because uh, going to the wet market or supermarket is actually not only the, the necessary uh, for the some of the consumer, but also they just go uh, for the uh, leisures if they go with the family into the big supermarket. But right now with this kind of the situation, they have no other choice uh, than staying at home and do those kind of the purchase uh, online. Okay. So this is uh, actually uh, some of the challenges uh, of the COVID-19 that uh, we are facing right now. Uh, I do believe that this is not only in Indonesia. So uh, we have it also in the other part of the world as well. So for example, the offline clothing retail sales decreased by 80%. Uh, and then uh, the worry of the everybody uh, goes uh, outside of their home. And uh, actually uh, uh, Indonesia people is uh, slowly started visiting mall because of this kind of the situation. Not to mention that I already said uh, earlier in the presentation that we have the large scale uh, social restriction uh, being extended by the government. So uh, uh, that kind of the challenges that uh, we face right now with this uh, pandemic. So uh, moving forward with those kind of the potential and those kind of the situation, uh, going online is no longer an option to delay. So if uh, the last uh, two years probably uh, uh, people talking about digital transformation and what kind of the uh, uh, requirement that they need uh, to go that way but right now everybody just have to go because uh, businesses who have be ready uh, to revolutionize uh, their digital operation so this is to make us uh, ready or not uh, like it or not uh, have to be go there because we would like to survive so on, uh, on the other hand, uh, online and offline commerce will increasingly go hand in hand as an option for consumers to choose uh, from because uh, uh, they would like to have the same experience when they are doing the purchase uh, offline and online. Okay, so uh, let us uh, share with you uh, what uh, we did uh, in Circlo as an e-commerce uh, enabler where uh, we accelerating uh, the digital expansion on this one. Okay, so uh, you can see uh, here in the slide that actually uh, there is a gap between brand and the customers in the online uh, market. So uh, as an enabler, uh, as an e-commerce enabler, Circlo is actually 
uh, bridging those kind of the gap. So by talking directly uh, with the marketplaces, uh, talking also with the payment gateways, and also we can provide the <clears throat> solution involving the social commerce, and uh, we will manage the all of uh, uh, three uh, PL uh, uh, logistic uh, from brand uh, to customers. So this is actually kind of the uh, holistic uh, approach uh, that we offer as an enabler to make sure that uh, brand will just uh, focus on what uh, they are doing best, which is developing a very good brand, uh, creating a very good promotion to attract consumers. And we as an enabler is helping them uh, to make sure that customer can reach uh, this kind of the good brand uh, is a very handy and also have the seamless uh, experience uh, to purchase uh, everything online. Okay, so the services that uh, Circlo provide uh, to the brand, um, actually, is, uh, if you can see on the right side, uh, basically, uh, we set up uh, the e-commerce uh, channels uh, and also we manage the supply chain uh, from the brand into the marketplace up until the consumers. We provide the customer service and also the e-commerce consultation. So this uh, basically uh, four services that um, we offer to the brand is uh, make sure that they can do a jump start. If the brand did not have the e dedicated e-commerce team, if the brand did not have any experience in the uh, e-commerce, if the brand would like to go to the uh, online uh, market, but they don't know what uh, they should do. So uh, this uh, solution uh, from Circlo is actually helping the brand a lot. So probably uh, from a small brand is uh, kind of the uh, makes sense, but how about the big, uh, big principle or big uh, company such as Universe? So Universe, yes, uh, definitely have those kind of the ability but Unilever also understand that actually working together with Circlo as an e-commerce enabler will bring them uh, to the other uh, level that actually we can learn each others uh, uh, how to uh, drive the consumer's uh, demand, how to fulfill the consumer's requirement online. Okay. So uh, this is uh, actually like the key strength of the e-commerce enablers uh, because uh, or as already mentioned before that the services that offer by enabler is actually to make sure help uh, uh, help a brand to selling online. Uh, one is uh, actually to promote connect and elevate client uh, to the presence of the marketplaces. So uh, the official stores of the brand will be shown in the marketplaces by the consumers and they can do they can just uh, do uh, easy uh, purchase uh, from that one. So the, the setup the, of the online uh, shop uh, is actually is a very fast. Uh, it's only four uh, weeks. Uh, aligning business goals, strategizing marketing, and also uploading the inventory to the warehouse. So it's a uh, very instant uh, for the brand to uh, go online uh, if they are choose uh, Circlo as an e-commerce enabler. And the, the, the additional on that one is actually uh, the system for sure. Uh, we are a tech company that uh, providing uh, all of the solution based on the technology uh, to make sure uh, uh, everything uh, move is actually uh, real time and uh, in the most efficient way uh, to, to make sure the distribution of the stock uh, in every marketplace can do properly. And then the fulfillment capabilities uh, because of our network uh, with the 3PL and our strategic uh, partnership uh, with the one of the biggest uh, transportation and also warehousing company in Indonesia you can make sure this can be happen. And uh, last thing is actually uh, save for the total investment because uh, for the brand, they don't have to uh, uh, like develop the dedicated team. They don't have uh, to invest uh, any other of the technology uh, to go to the uh, marketplace or online uh, business. Okay. So when we are uh, talking about uh, the consumer uh, experience or consumer journey, so uh, actually like uh, we aware that e-commerce uh, capabilities may still uh, make it an attractive option uh, for needs uh, to fulfillment those who still prefer to limit outdoor interaction. On the other hand, we also understand that the mobil with mobility uh, slowly recovering, brick and mortar uh, stores alongside offline transaction will also uh, coming back uh, with more regularity. 
So uh, despite uh, the many uncertainties, uh, businesses across all industries and scales need to be well prepared moving forward. Uh, with Indonesia high digital penetration rate and uh, its growing e-commerce industry, it becomes more urgent for businesses uh, actually to create a truly seamless uh, customer experience and adapting the omnichannel strategy. Here, uh, when we are talking about the seamless experience, I already mentioned uh, before, that actually a consumer would like to, to feel uh, uh, the same experience uh, between uh, doing a purchase uh, offline and also doing a purchase online. This is uh, actually is a very important uh, premise uh, in the omni-channel uh, concept. And uh, in Indonesia, actually it's becoming more and more relevant because of this uh, pandemic uh, situation. And uh, by uh, leveraging the offline stores or offline uh, point of sales that they already have, a consumer can do purchase uh, online and also get the product from the nearest uh, location of the consumers. Okay, so when we are uh, talking about the omni-channel strategy, uh, actually this is uh, kind of the uh, one decision that should be made by the corporation or also by the brand or company uh, to make sure that they have the higher uh, customer retention. Uh, this one can be also a driving uh, customer purchase decision uh, because uh, they knew that actually uh, staying with one brand, they can have uh, uh, same experience. They can have the, uh, uh, the product anywhere. They can do uh, shopping online. The product will be delivered from the stores uh, nearby. And also uh, this one, uh, on the other hand, required consistency of the brand proposition across channel. We have to be make sure that all of the uh, proposition and also offering uh, that being made by the brand is actually consistent across the channel, uh, whether it's offline or online. And uh, this one is also requiring uh, technological infrastructures uh, behind that kind of the decision to make sure that the consumer uh, feel uh, seamlessly uh, and also have the same experience of the journey. So, uh, by saying that, actually, like uh, Circlo, uh, right now with the merge uh, with iCube, can offer this uh, tailor end to end solutions uh, to the sales channels. So, we have the Circlo store, chat, and also Swift uh, marketplace, uh, it can be our sales channel as well. The other point of sales, mobile and kiosk. Uh, I already mentioned to you uh, the marketplace adapter as an e-commerce enabler. We have a circular connection uh, uh, to make sure that uh, everything being distributed uh, and also uh, evenly to all of the marketplace, uh, to all of the stores that we have. We also have Swift as an, our omni-channel hub to make sure that uh, the brand can serve the consumer seamlessly offline and online. Uh, you can see here below, uh, the left below is actually as an e-commerce enabler, uh, we are supporting from the fulfillment and inventory up until the logistic and delivery. And as, an, as a custom solution integration uh, with iCube, uh, actually uh, we are talking uh, a lot with the ERP and the CRM loyalty to make sure that the brand uh, can offer this kind of the uh, proposition to the consumer as well. Well, uh, that's it, uh, Pak Mul. So I hope uh, I'm not only uh, touching uh, who is Circlo and also emphasizing the opportunity of the online business in Indonesia, but also share a bit about the solutions uh, that we have to make sure that uh, brand can uh, cope, uh, 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 agile, and also perform in this kind of the situation. Thank you. Thanks for the insight, Pak Danang. Okay, let's give a couple minutes, see if there's any questions from the audience. Uh, but in the meanwhile, also a quick update to the audience. Uh, so as we announced earlier that uh, some of you might uh, win a free voucher from GoFood. So make sure you check your email. It's not bad. It's a 50,000 voucher. So wow. that's in nice. Uh, it's, it's only good for today, though. So you have to use it for this event. <laughs> um, and also, please make sure during the lunchtime, just take time to visit our exhibitors and, and chat with uh, people. Uh, maximizing the networking around uh, so that that uh, I hope you can enjoy all of those and quizzes contest as well. All right, let me see any Q&A submitted. Let me, ah, okay, there's quite, uh, there's one. Okay, 
Uh, one question. Uh, he doesn't say who, but uh, Pak Danang, does this pandemic affected COD contribution to online transaction? Yeah, okay. So uh, actually the COD transaction is uh, one of the things that uh, are bridging the habit of the consumer before they are used to, to, to like uh, maximizing the wallet, uh, digital wallet actually. So right now, uh, everybody is uh, actually uh, get used to have uh, get used to uh, have the experience uh, with the digital wallet, and it seems like the experience is uh, very good. The level of trust is actually increasing. So we're not seeing the increase of the COD uh, transaction nowadays because uh, we have uh, many offers from the digital wallets. Uh, every digital wallet have this uh, those uh, proposition. They're offering discount, they're offering cash back, they're offering bundling. So everything that's a very attract, uh, attract, attracted uh, to the consumers. So um, COD is only the beginning uh, of the journey actually uh, from the consumer because they would like to see the product first and then uh, pay after that. But uh, right now, uh, level of trust, uh, the, 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 the purchase online is uh, becoming a habit. Uh, I think uh, they will uh, shift. Uh, they will shift. Uh, they will shifting to the digital wallet uh, right now. Far more. Great. Uh, I hope whoever that asked the question, uh, that's answer your uh, questions on that one. Um, okay. It seems like um, there's no more question actually. Just just make sure that uh, we give time to respond because we are about eight second delay from where I am talking with you right now and what audience sure, actually. Sure, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Okay. I think we are good. No, no more questions, Padanang. I think you're good. Uh, okay, thank so you. Thank you so much, Padanang. Uh, I'll thank see you, you around. Much. Okay. Thank you. And everybody, uh, we're going to end this session. Uh, so the next session will be at, I think, 1 p.m. Uh, we're going to start again. So make sure you're clicking the link, join session from the agendas area. So we'll see you all again at 1 and have a good lunch.